All right, we have a solution that consists of benzene and toluene. Both of those are um, volatile, so we have a vapor pressure of each, and then we want to find the vapor pressure of the solution. So the vapor pressure of benzene at 20 is 75 millimeters of mercury, and the vapor pressure of toluene is 22 millimeters of mercury at 20 degrees Celsius, so toluene is less volatile. Using Raoult's law, which says that um, we have an ideal solution, we want to find the mole fraction of benzene in the vapor. Okay, so what equation do we have to work with? Well, we always want to start with P total. P total is going to equal the pressure of benzene and this is over the solution plus the pressure of toluene. So how do we figure out those two? We're not just adding 22 and 75 because they're not equal amounts. It's not 50-50. We've got a mass given. So therefore, we know that the total pressure is going to equal the mole fraction of benzene times the vapor pressure of pure benzene, of course, that's different from this, plus, okay, so the pressure of benzene equals this, the pure times the mole fraction, plus the mole fraction of toluene times the vapor pressure of pure toluene, okay? So both of these are given right up here, 22 and 75. Okay, then if we want to know the mole fraction in the vapor, we're going to take the pressure, and it says of benzene, of benzene over the total pressure, which we're going to calculate in just a minute. That's going to equal the mole fraction of benzene in vapor. Okay, this is the mole fraction over here. This is the mole fraction in the solution. So you got to keep those two things straight. We've got we've to keep straight the pure versus what's in our actual solution, and we've got to keep straight the mole fraction in solution versus the mole fraction in the vapor. Okay, so when we say this up here, 3.88 grams, what we're really going to find is the mole fraction of benzene in the solution. So first we're going to find moles of benzene, and this is going to be in solution. So I'm just going to figure out moles of both benzene and toluene. So this is 0 0.0497 moles, and that's a benzene. Okay, and then I'm going to find out the same for my toluene. Okay, so I'm given 2.45 grams of toluene. I'm going to change him to moles. And that is given as... 92.0 grams per mole for toluene and that comes out to 0 0.0266 moles of toluene. Okay, so those are just the moles that I have originally given up here. Then I need to figure out total moles. So that's going to be uh, 0 0.0497 for benzene moles plus 0 0.0266 moles of toluene equals the total which is 0 0.0763 moles total. Okay, so now I can figure out my mole fraction of benzene which is going to be uh, benzene over the total, which is 0 0.0497 moles. That needs to be a 497 moles benzene 
over 0 0.0763 moles total. Okay, and so that equals 0 0.651 for benzene. Okay, again, there's no units. It's, it's like 65.1%, but we just didn't multiply it by 100. And now I can figure out the mole fraction of toluene. Okay, and that's going to equal 0 0.0266 moles toluene over my total, which is 0 0.0763 moles total. And that comes out to 0.349 for toluene. Okay, so you should see that these two mole fractions would add up to one. And they do. Okay, so now we can plug these back into our original equation and figure out what is the total vapor pressure. So, I'm going to use my equation up here. X benzene, mole fraction of benzene is 0.651 for benzene times the vapor pressure of pure benzene, which is 75 torr or millimeters of mercury. Uh, that's given up here. Okay, so that's, that's just the vapor pressure of benzene. Then I'm going to add that to the vapor pressure of toluene, okay, so toluene is 34.9% uh, times its vapor pressure if it were pure, which is given as 22 torr, okay? So when I multiply this, I get 49 torr, and I'm actually going to use that in a minute, plus 7.8 torr for the toluene. So over the solution, in that at 20 degrees Celsius, the vapor pressure of benzene is 49, and the vapor pressure of toluene is 7.8. When I add those two together, I get 50 seven tour. Fifty six point eight tour. Now um, with sig figs that's fifty seven tour. Okay, with the correct number of sig figs. Okay, now what I need to do is I want to figure out the vapor, the, the mole fraction of benzene in the vapor, as you can see up here. So the way I do that is I'm going to take the pressure of benzene, which is 49 torr for benzene, divided by 57 torr that's total. Okay, and I'm going to get a mole fraction that is 0.86. So that's the mole fraction of benzene in the vapor. Now the mole fraction of benzene in the solution was different. That was 0.651. But Toluene is more volatile and there's more of it compared to the, tolu uh, yeah, the toluene. So the benzene is, as I said, more volatile compared to toluene. And so there's going to be more of it in the vapor. So the mole fraction of toluene would be 1 minus 0.86. So this isn't what's asked for, but the mole fraction of toluene would be, you can do that in your head, 0.14 in 
the vapor. So it's important to distinguish between the vapor and the solution. If you can do that, then you understand it.